Bowerbirds are most known for their unique and extraordinarily complex courtship behaviors. Males build a structure and decorate it with various sticks and brightly colored objects in an attempt to attract a mate. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, this will totally impress her. Here we have a male bowerbird. One particular bower consists of two walls of vertically placed sticks that form a type of avenue. From within the bower, females view the male displaying on his bower court. The males decorate the court with colored objects, which he has collected, often stolen from environments of other bowers. The objects differ among species and range from rocks and sticks to coins and pieces of plastic. Male bowers are very committed to perfecting their display and may spend hours arranging and rearranging this special collection. The structure of the cervical vertebrae is what allows the bird to manipulate objects using its beak and neck while constructing the complex bower and port. The vertebrae of the neck, termed heterocyolus vertebrae, have a saddle shaped articular surface. The anterior and posterior ends of each vertebrae are concave up and down allowing the surfaces to fit smoothly together like a modified ball and socket joint. This type of configuration permits extensive lateral and vertical flexion motion without stretching or kinking the nerve cord. If the female bowel bird is impressed with the display, this is what happens. Institute of Vertebrate Chivalry takes a closer look. Hello! Welcome to the Avian Department of the Research Institute of Vertebrate Chivalry. I'm particularly interested in what makes the bowerbird so chivalrous. We are looking at the bowerbird's brain size relative to its body size. 
we recently have come out with some hot off the press research, um, of which I will read you a particular excerpt. <clears throat> Bower bird grills are relatively highly developed. Among vertebrates, the size of a bird brain is compared to body size second only to mammals. So that phrase, bird brain, is actually not that much of an insult. The bower bird cerebrum is especially large compared to the rest of its brain. As a result, these birds are capable of complex behavior, especially in elaborate courtship rituals, as my colleague David Attenborough showed you. Bower birds are closely related to some of the smartest of all birds, crows, ravens, jays, and their kin. In fact, bower birds create the most unique and elaborate display court in the animal kingdom. I don't know if you noticed, but in the field with David Attenborough, the objects arranged in the bower bird's court were arranged by size. I'm not sure if you noticed, but when you were out in the field with David Attenborough, the larger objects being in the back presents the illusion of him being larger than he actually is. The female bowerbird is tricked into thinking the male bowerbird's body size is larger and potentially he has better genes. Tricked into thinking the male bowerbird is larger, she would be more likely to allow him to mate with her, to pass his DNA on into the next generation. In conclusion, the male bowerbird has come up with a way to not only impress the female bowerbirds, but to successfully get his genes into the next generation.